everyone so guys we are supposed to be getting a snowstorm um they're definitely saying it's supposed to really uh it's going to really hit washington dc <laughs> you know it's pretty excited because i can actually you know put my snowblower to test before i can do anything what i must do is man i gotta get ready i gotta get ready so i got my i got my trusty dusties man my trusty dusties yeah everybody's got that trusty dusties so these bad boys right here are what i'm going to be using today to prepare for the snowstorm and gotta go ahead and uh replace my carburetor on a snowblower and one of them i have to replace the primer button on so i got two snowblowers one the big one I got to replace the carburetor. Small one, small one needs a carburetor too, but she can, she can, she can run, man. She she pulls her weight, uh, but the primer button's broken, so I got to do that. So on today's video, we're gonna knock them out. And in this box, we have our new carburetor. I tell you, it's so cheap, so much cheaper to replace the carburetor. I got this for I think it was like fifty bucks off of. Um, I want to say eBay, eBay or Amazon, one of them, which is far much cheaper than to actually pay somebody to do a complete rebuild of the carburetor or, you know, cleaning per se. Comes with, uh, everything that you basically need, even the um, gasket. That's about it. So this is the carburetor here. Brand new carburetor. All right, guys. So the first thing I want to do is start it up. And then I'm going to engage um, the gas cutoff switch. So that way I can get all the fuel out the carburetor maybe not all but you know most of it all right let's see i'm gonna engage put this at the minimum yep engage the choke keys in prime one two three four five six So we got majority of that gas um, going to the carburetor out. Uh, I can give another pull just to confirm. Choke back on, adjust the throttle, pull. to stop choke off key removed all right so i might be in the way I'll try to document this as best as i can I'm trying to get these two screws removed it's so one i don't know if you can see it There's two. So now, put the screws in a safe spot. Now let's get this thing off of here. So, looks like this knob should go. Huh. Does this knob not come off? It should come off. Huh. All right, let me get some pliers.
<coughs> Negative. There we go. She's coming slowly. All right, let me take a crap. I don't even have a picture. Mm. Oh, let me get something like a light on. All right, we got a green permanent marker. Mark the location. This went this way. And this way over here. That so well. All right. <clears throat> there we go. Got her off there. little ground wire might be hard for you guys to see it oh yeah this carburetor I'm looking at it, it's leaking this thing is nasty golly let me flip this thing around so I can see this thing is just absolutely nasty just look at that and at the bottom here it's leaking so <laughs> Look like it may be the original, the original OG. Yeah, there's look like what one and two, two uh, nuts right there that we need to remove. But first, we need to remove this panel so that way we can get access to this bad boy here. This is our choke wire right here. Well, is that correct? I, I could be wrong, I could be wrong. I could be wrong guys but one thing that's most importantly is this thing right here is that we want to make note of where this wire is going this metal wire so what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh use my uh, so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use my green permanent marker and i'm gonna make a mark on this carburetor and then on a new carburetor I'm gonna do the same thing so this is the new carburetor it's basically this flush part here with this hose going this way that's the way how this bad boy is going to be installed it's going to be installed like that so what I was referring to is this top plate here what I'm going to do is Use my green permanent marker and just make a notation of where that wire needs to connect. All right, so looks like it's this way and it's here. All right, so as you guys can see, made a green permanent marker right there. Of course, that's going to eventually uh, fade off since it's not going to be permanent, but at least we know exactly where this wire right here needs to connect. Now it's important that you do not bend this wire. So if anything, pull this tab back and pop that wire up slowly and gently. Um, for you to do so, uh, it will basically cause it to surge as well. So. Let's do that. Let's get started. So the way that I'm seeing this is that it appears to be much easier to adjust this from, let's say, this bottom portion here. Yeah, so let's get that bad boy off. Because um, right now this wire is it's got tension by this metal piece right here. So take this bad boy here and unscrew it. It's hard to see in this video, but trust and believe me, you guys will be able to see it. So now I should be able to lift this thing up like so. All right, so now she's loose. 
Ooh, we got some gasolina on us, but that's no problem. So now we should be able to pull this thing off. So I want to make note exactly where that was connected. Top. All right, so I made note exactly of where this wire, well, you know, All right, so we got this wire unloose, and we pretty much made note exactly where it was installed. All right. All right so next, we're gonna remove this hose. That hose has been on there for a while, so I'm going to have to use a needle nose to loosen it. But before I do that, I want to get something to uh, catch any gas. Take a needle nose and kind of twist it around, get it on loose. Alright, that's off. It's good, it's good. All right, got a 10. Let's see. Is that a 10 or is that 11? Yeah, it looks like it's 11. Let's try the 11. Okay. 11 almost. It almost fits. Let's try the other side. Maybe this thing might be in the way. Yeah, the 11 fits. Oh yeah, it's definitely 11. So I might probably get a half. Yeah, get a half to 11. And try that one. All right, got 11, and she's she's ready. She's loose now. Oh yeah, she's real loose. There we go. Spun her off. Huh. Interesting. The screw is all the way back here. Uh, let's see you manage to Wow, that's all back there. You gotta use like a flathead just to get that sucker. All right, so now I'm gonna switch to my leather on this side. Basically, I wanna I wanna take these two screws off so that way we can get this unloose. I think it's loose enough for my finger to twist it off. Let's see. Yeah, it is. Mm. All right, I got the screw. Well, got got the nut. That nut's been removed. Now, there we go. Now she's broken free. So now we just need to remove the hose and we need to get pliers to clamp that down. If we could do it with this. Where's that? Oh, okay. you know what? Let's just put this here. There we go. Pull that off. Let's pull this up. Wow. Well, hmm. Hmm. 
this hose clamp is totally different. Like literally, somebody potentially broke the hose clamp off, so that's probably why it was leaking. Um, you have to see if I could find a hose clamp similar to this. Take our needle nose and massage the hose off. Okay. All right, and be prepared for some gas. Hopefully it's not too much. So we did cut the supply off. Mm. All right, okay, flat hit. See if that will help. Yeah, flathead's helping pop this hose off. There we go. Come on. Come on. There we go. Whew. I had to use a flathead in between to push that through because I didn't want to crack this. Don't want to damage that. But uh, that's what we're looking like. She's a nasty little beast right there. Absolutely nasty. Let me see if I can adjust the light. Now, some people may just end up, you know, cleaning this bad boy out. But me, nah. It's not worth it. So we're just going to go ahead and swap this part here. And get this thing, get this portion connected. And we'll be on our way. Again, it's this part. This part right here that needs to be installed on here and connect it. Take this lever here and kind of adjust it. Kind of squeeze it on through and then pull this thing up. All right, and then feed it through here. All right, now once you got to feed it through there, then you can install your screws. Put one screw on first. Tighten that up by hand. Do the other one. Come on, get in there. There we go. Alright, so now she's adjusted. She's installed. Now we can tighten her down. So now, when this thing is adjusted, see how it, it's adjusting the choke. All right, all right. So now, before we put this back on, we want to clean the surface, just wipe it down. And it'll be much easier if we pull this screw out. Pull that screw out. Just two screws, just pull them out. And now, <clears throat> what we want to do is get this hose attached and pop that in there. Oh, you know what? I need to get that out. I'm sorry about that. So one more thing we need to transfer is this. So now, since it's basically disassembled, we can just pull it apart. Well, pull her out. Come on, don't be stubborn. Hmm. This thing is 
Stuff is stubborn. There we go. Alright. And put it back in here. There we go. And I believe we kind of, um, I believe we kind of bent underneath here. So let me get flathead. And I just want to bend it back to make sure. Uh, there we go. <clears throat> okay. So that way we can ensure that this doesn't just come off and we have to take everything apart. So I'm going to just adjust it. Oops, I'm off. So now I'm going to just move it back and forth. And she's not coming off. Easy. Nope. So we're good on that end. Alright, we're going to try with this custom hose clamp. See if that will hold. Yeah. Let's go ahead and put it on. There we go. Now... Let's get our gasket. Um, so, as another note, it does come with this hose here to basically replace this one, but this is too short. Um, it needs to go all the way up and then through here for the primer. So I'm not gonna really worry about that because I'm not having any issues with that. That's nothing to stress out. You don't want to damage your gasket. You don't want to damage your gasket. All right. So, apply that like so. Okay. Right. So that's that. <laughs> get this little screwdriver because we may have to you know push that screw back out again now let's get this hose back on Hose is on. You guys can't really see it. I do apologize. Let me tighten this up. I need to screw a socket. Hopefully, I can really get her adjusted. Alright, so that's getting tight. and tight. Alright, cool. Oh, man. 
doing all that to knock the gasket off. Don't want to damage it. Okay, now put this in. Okay. And that way. That's all there. Hold that up. Get this a screwdriver, push the screw back through here. I might need to get over on the other side to do it. Thread it on right now. Just so make it one side on. Not to go in here. It's at an awkward angle. But let's see if we can do it. Oh, I just dropped it. on this and bring that down so I got that side on just gotta get this one on let's use this let's get this thing good in there we go now I'm just see if I can apply pressure on that and and then take the screw thread it on by hand. There we go. Alright, now it's on by hand. So now let's see if we can tighten her up. If it free spins then that means we're not we're not tightening on the back. We don't got enough pressure. Nope, she's getting tight. Yeah she's definitely getting tight. There we go, nice and tight. Okay, now let's put this valve back down. Cool. Alright, so let's get this hose connected to right here. This is a valve here. You guys may not be able to see it, but. Plug up this hose to this valve. And just pop it in like so. And there she goes. Got a little breather. Okay. So on this side right here, there's a adjustable um, valve. So what we're going to do is we're going to start it up um, and adjust the valve. Uh, so if we feel as though that it's um, still surging, we'll adjust that valve and see if that helps um i'm not too sure what the specs of that what the uh valve should be but we'll find out once we start getting that portion back installed so let's go ahead and take this line here bring that over like so and then install it on here so now that's installed I just gotta put the screw back on. This bad boy back on temporary. Yeah. Let's 
that just that a little bit turn the fuel back on all right fuse back on I don't see any leaks so I'm gonna pull it just a little bit Excellent. No leaks. She starts. Let's put everything back together. So there's two screws for this plate. Let me get this thing off of here. Go. Cool. Key out, key in. Alright. Adjust our throttle, middle, carburetor, um, choke back on. some tape on here so that way this hose doesn't just come off easily I'm using this needle nose to get it off this is a gorilla glue tape so when the original primer button came off the little plastic piece also broke off inside of here Let's see if I can grab this needle nose and pull that piece out. I don't want to break it inside there so I'm going to twist it back and forth. Nope, she's in there. She's definitely in there. So, that means we're going to have to break it off. We got enough though. Let me see something here. Can I squeeze it out? Let's see. Nope. Let's get some scissors. Let's see right about here. Oh, these things are frozen. Ah, here we go. I'm gonna just put the hose on here. It goes in the middle. Squeeze that back on there. All the way through. Right. Now put that bad boy down. There we go. Well, well. Uh, broke off. 
whatever. Oh yeah. I don't really think it's enough gas. Let's turn the key on. And don't forget guys, if you guys are not, if you are not a subscriber of my channel, please be sure to hit that subscribe button right there. Appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. My family appreciate it. It's all love, baby. Let's go.